going on, my friends? Um, today, uh, we are. Today's video is uh, since the last day of uh, May. Uh, we're gonna jump ahead on the Spotify playlist for June. It's something I want to try and keep up with. Like once, once a month playlist would be great because I'm right now I'm listening to tons of music. So I'm gonna build this playlist with you guys. Might be a little drawn on, but you go through my thought process of picking out sweet songs. So right now, I'm making a new playlist. It's called uh, um, Big Big Chocolate or Cameron Argon. Big Chocolate June 2012 playlist. Um, first of all, we're gonna go to the, my most played artist. Right now is Soil Work. Great band, great, great, great band. Um, putting these songs in there right now. So it works a band. Let me read you the bio. Swedish metal sextet. Is that the thing I mean? Six piece. It's kind of immature that I laugh, but what can you do, Lok? Um, but they have a great sound. It's very melodic. It's very um. It's very badass. Um, I don't know how to describe a soil work. It's just like a fantastic metal band. It just sounds good. Um, I'm going to try and figure out what songs I want to put in. Yeah, this song for sure. And we got to put Light the Torch. Because Light the Torch is awesome. Great song. Great, great song. Um, now I've been on like a huge, like, uh, I don't know what what's my deal lately, but I've just listened to like tons of stuff I used to listen to when I was younger, like Soil Work, um, At The Gates, we're gonna put an At The Gates, um, songs, and I'm trying to figure out, I don't want to be like cliche and just put like Slaughter of the Soul in, if you, go, if you guys don't know At The Gates and you like, uh, like melodic metal stuff, I think Nausea was one of my favorite songs when I was younger. Suicide Nation because that's like this thing. We're gonna put uh, the eraser by by hypocrisy. Um now we're going to Lincoln Park. Because Lincoln Park's one of my most played artists right now as well. I like Meteora a lot. I know like everyone's like a hybrid theory fan. I am too, obviously. Great album. Every song is a fantastic hit. But um, I'm a huge Meteora fan. I love Meteora. So I think we're going to put... Um, nobody's listening for sure. Badass Jam. Cure for the Itch, it's like an instrumental song. song for sure. So let's look at our playlist so far. We have uh, Soil Work at the Gates of Lincoln Park and Hypocrisy. This is a, this is a, this is definitely a, a badass one. Now we're going to put Subtract in. Subtract, I listened to Subtract a ton recently. If you don't know who Subtract is, it's a, uh, I don't really know how to describe Subtract. Um, it's electronic music. It's a, uh, it's a bunch of stuff. Like the description says, mix the elements of dubstep, two-step, uh, garage, garage, or whatever you say it, uh, house, soul, and techno into a bass heavy blend of flowing melodies and intricate percussion. Um, it's definitely very, uh, UK garage style. I like, uh, Living Like I Do is a great song. He has, like, he sings in all of his, I watched this guy at Ultra and his live set was awesome, but he sings in most of his songs. He also gets lots of guests in the songs as well, which is awesome. The thing I like about Spotify is it doesn't show me what I'm listening to, so I can't be like, 
uh, recently listened to or stuff I like a lot or you know what I mean like it's hard to keep track of like artists I can do playlists and stuff which I'm doing right now but like you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so living like I do is, is definitely in there the big song is a uh, wildfire it's like I guess where they get the dubstep in the in this in the but I don't really like that song that much Yeah, this song for Dang. Um, the Theopolis London right now. Uh, his new song Why Even Try has a Bloody Beat Reach remix, and it's so dope. If you guys don't know like Theopolis London, he's like this rapper. Um, I don't know. He's a kind of a very unique style. He's great. Um, I don't know, it just sounds good. I, 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 I've been a fan of Theopolis London for a while now. I think so Spotify, I'm really easy. it's easier to get way into his music, um, which I like, which I hella, which I hella dig, Loke. Um, so let's see. What else have I, have I been listening to? I think Facebook tracks it, because you have to have a Facebook to have Spotify, which is super annoying. Um, and everyone can see what you're listening to all the time, which is also kind of annoying. Um, I listened to Stabbing the Drama 22 times. Uh, oh, damn, Raised Machine. Uh, Microphone Fiend for sure. This song is awesome. It's off the Renegades album. Because I'm Because I'm Battle of Los Angeles is one of my favorite albums from growing up. It's one of my favorite albums in just in general. Um, I don't know if I want to put any of the playlists just because I haven't really listened to it a whole lot lately just because I've been listening to the other albums just because I know that album like the back of my hand. Um, so let's uh, let's continue this this put together of a playlist and then by the way if you can't catch on already it's going to be in the description below so if you're a Spotify user you can check out um, what we got so far. Um, what we got so far? Um, Sugar. Sugar is one of my favorite metal bands, and it's one of the only metal bands that I have consistently listened to from when I didn't like, or, or what was like into metal or not into metal or whatever. I just, I've always just liked M Sugar decently. They've always been a favorite of mine. One of my favorite albums by Sugar is uh, Alive, because it has like old songs like New Millennium Silent Cry. And the and the mouth licking what you bled like old, older songs that like have the recordings aren't as good so when you uh like pretty much the, the chaos sphere song chaos sphere is like has great songs on it but like the the the, the production isn't as big as it was for like <coughs> <coughs> as like catch thirty three and stuff so um I, that's why I love the alive album so instead of I'm gonna put mouth licking what you bleed. else I'm going to put on this. I don't know if I want to put too much from Sugar just because the last playlist had a lot of Sugar. Um, Lamb of God. Oh my God. I listened to that album a ton. Um, Ashes of the Wake. Uh, I kept it old school. Um, they don't have the one before Ashes of the Wake though. There's an album before Ashes of the Wake and I can't remember what it's called but they don't have it on Spotify. And that was kind of a bust. Uh, I'm going to put
we're gonna put uh, this this track. Um, middle of the night. Evil Intent is a is a is one of my first drum and bass groups I ever got in. They released an album called Era Diversion. Uh, my senior year of high school, and I listened to it like a ton. Like I, I was listening to that album so much, and I didn't even know it was drum and bass. That's a funny thing until later on. I just thought it was cool music, so I was just listening to it all the time. Uh, one of like the the I guess like a jam of on it was middle of the night, and it was like, <laughs> like it, it's like very progressive, but like kind of housey drum and bass. <laughs> But the the break was like really intense. The drop was just like it was like a like heavy drum. <laughs> and I'm putting the the Rezo remix because he does a great job at remixing it. I think the remix is very recent too. Yeah, 2012. So it is new. I don't know why they took four years to release a remix of it. But um, uh, I remember odd number. And there is another song. I don't, I'm not sneaking on you. Oh, because there's two different. There's an LP version and just that's. Weird. Uh, it had this really cool. I think it was awkward rhythm of dance. No, South London. The drums like have this awesome like kind of like weird reverb um, effect. I think I know how they did it. I can I might be able to show you guys, but uh, this is when it kicks in. The drums have like this really cool like. So yeah, great, great track. Um, I've listened to a lot of uh, the face that that they did these weird things. Where it was like face would they're all collab tracks, and they're um it's called like energy, but there's like three parts of it. I don't know how to describe it. There's the, the obviously like the the, the the single energy. Which I'm pretty sure was on my last playlist. Um, yes, it was on my last playlist. So if you got that, you you heard this. Um, but I've listened to like the three part little thing a whole bunch. I can't remember what song I was listening to a lot though. <laughs> songs do we have right now? Soil work at the gates, Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park and Soil work pretty much, and, and subtract pretty much sum up um, my month of listening stuff, because um, that's pretty much all I listen to for a while. This is an hour's worth of music. I say this is pretty good. There's not a whole lot of drum and bass on there. Um, i trying to remember if there's any like last minute songs I've listened to a lot that have been on there, but pretty much like it's been just a ton of, uh, like, good old-fashioned, uh, like, mute, pretty much, like, a bunch of throwbacks. Oh, yeah, Power Man 5000. I gotta remember that. And, da -da -da -da. I'm, like, the, I don't really like the debut a lot. I like, or, not the, the debut, but the one with, the the one that, it, the song everyone likes. Just so you can't go. What is that is I like uh, Transform a lot. Mainly just because that's the album I had um, when I bought the Power Man 5000 album. Um, let's see. Ooh, Blue Stolly. Blue 
Ustali, he's actually been in my videos a few times. He's a uh, he's on Fixed uh, Cell Dwellers label, and it's kind of just like them too, and they just kind of own everything. Uh, Ustali is an amazing songwriter. It's a it's a one man project. He does it all himself. Uh, he just released. Yeah, and a sick volume too. Oh man, I can't wait to listen to this. See, that's what I love about Spotify. It's like you'll see like a like a, an artist that you like one or two songs, and you know his style real well. Um, then you know he released an album that you haven't checked out yet. It's on Spotify. You just listen to the whole thing. So I'm, I'm uh, pretty stoked. Uh, uh, it's, it's like industrial um, rock. Uh, it's very good. So yeah, just go into the playlist to find Loose Dog and listen to a bunch of this stuff. Super talented guy, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Um, his name is Brett. Um, so yeah, this is my playlist. Again, you can find it all down there. I just made it in front of y'all. Um, that's a lot of it what I listened to the past few weeks, and let's jam this all June. And uh, we'll do another one of these. I don't know if it's going to be like, the last day of June. I don't want to make a habit of like any particular day. I don't know if I'm going I'm to film a video each time I do it. I just know that... I'm gonna keep doing this playlist because I enjoy it and it's just like it's easier for me to make. It's music I've been listening to. Um, so yeah, play this down below. Thanks for watching. Enjoy what I enjoy. Hmm. Oh yeah, these slam hats, they're out of stock right now, but we're getting more in soon. So you guys can all be slamming that sickness. All day, all day.